Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate the time. First of all, I introduced two of my friends, and I will would like to share with you that I've known these gentlemen for many, many years. Uh, in the past few years, we've become friends, and uh, we we work together in the circuit clerk's office. And during that time, I developed uh, not only an appreciation but a great deal of respect for both gentlemen. Uh, and Jim, I'm fixing to introduce you, but I'd like for you to step on up here. <clears throat> this is Jim Harris, but I'm not through. I condensed this. I've condensed this as much as I can, but uh, the truth is, I have so much respect for Dennis Milligan that I don't feel qualified to introduce him, and I've asked Jim to. On the other hand, I found out so much information about Jim. I'm not really qualified to introduce him either. <laughs> First of all, Jim is the chief of staff to our state treasurer. He was the chief of staff to Dennis when he served as circuit clerk. Jim has worked for two congressmen, 10 years in the office of the governor, Mike Huckabee, worked uh, for the Department of Energy Management as a bioterrorism coordinator, and for more than 20 years has been, and I know this for a fact, <clears throat> an award-winning journalist. He, is, he currently writes a political column for the Selene Courier. He worked as the state representative to the FBI Anti-Terrorism Task Force for the Eastern District of Arkansas and was uh, a founding member of the Arkansas Terrorism Task Force after September 11, 2001. He worked for the Department of Homeland Security, was director of internal communications for the Huckabee for president campaign and he married and I hate to say this for those of us that are Henderson graduates he married a girl from Washita and since then they have had I, mean, I, I don't I didn't get how many years but it's been forever they've been married because they have two grown children and now they're raising three grandchildren Joe and I can appreciate this. He's got a, he, he is now the uh, father of a seven-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. And I think Pat deserves a great deal of uh, appreciation. And, and by the way, I just found out that um, your brother-in-law married you. Is that right? That's correct. Did, what was his name? Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee performed the ceremony. <laughs> Pat's little brother. <laughs> friends and neighbors. With you as my witnesses, Jim Harris, I would like for you to commit to come to us to be one of our speakers in the not too distant future. Absolutely. I have witnesses. Thank you, Pat. That was a very kind introduction. What he was trying not to say with all of the jobs that he listed is that obviously I can't hold a steady job. <laughs> Uh, in fact, this job as Chief of Staff for the Treasurer is my 15th job that I've held since I graduated from Henderson State University in 1975. But in these days, with the changing job market, that's just how things work. I am proud, though, to say that I work for the Arkansas State Treasurer, and Dennis Milligan is a man that uh, many of you probably know because he served four years as the circuit clerk from Saline County. He is an accomplished businessman who started his own business, uh, water treatment systems, and he was uh, chairman of a political party, but I won't say which one, not that you can't figure it out from who my brother-in-law is. And uh, as circuit clerk, he was very, very involved in making sure that Hot Springs Village was not a stepchild to Saline County. He was the very first circuit clerk to make sure that when we held jury orientation, we held sessions here in the village so that people who were on juries didn't have to drive all the way to Benton in order to have jury orientation. He came up with a system where juries were notified not by having to call an answering machine, but they were notified by their cell phone because we all live by our cell phones these days. They either got a text message, they got an email, or they got a robocall to their home or cell phone. In fact, that was so innovative, he got received a national award for it. He did many things as circuit clerk that brought it out of the 1960s and brought it into this century. The state treasurer's office had trouble, and I won't go into that. Many of you are probably aware of the trouble that it had. And he was encouraged by people and decided to run for the state treasurer's office. And he took over in January of this year. 
since that time he's started many innovative ideas I think he'll be talking about some of those to you and I think that you will find he's done you proud so without further ado ladies and gentlemen your state treasurer Dennis Milligan Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, it is a great pleasure to get to be with you this morning. And uh, anybody from uh, the Chicago area in here, I want to let you know I rolled in from Chicago uh, last evening, and uh, the weather was fantastic uh, there. I was uh, told that it would be uh, generally very hot, but it was very, very comfortable there. So uh, friends and relatives send their greetings to you from Chicago. Excuse me. Also, want to say, uh, uh, Bill, you have a beautiful voice. Uh, not that the rest of you don't. Uh, I, I will say that my pastor won't even allow me to lip sync in the choir, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't uh, join in the singing. But uh, we also subscribe to the theory that blessed are the brief, for they shall be invited back to speak. So uh, I'll try to jump right in this morning. Uh, Jim, appreciate those kind words. Patrick, appreciate your friendship and your help throughout the years. Uh, we are serving our first term as your tre treasurer of state. Uh, a great honor and a privilege to be a constitutional officer. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that I've subscribed to as a businessman is that there are three types of people. There are people that make things happen. There are people that watch things happen. And there's people that wonder what happened. And I would like to say that I'm one of those individuals that make things happen. Uh, I do kind of march to my own drum. I, I think at a, a lower level, Donald Trump hadn't got anything on me. Uh, but with that, uh, producing results is something that as a small businessman uh, is just something that uh, has been drilled into me. So as your treasurer of state, one of the most common uh, asked questions is, what are we doing with your money? And I'm proud to say that we are making a lot of progress with your money. And uh, one of the things that we we're doing that I pledged was that we were going to invest your money, not sit around and just put it in a CD or a money market fund as uh, some of my counterparts have done the last few years and we have made tremendous success we have two types of investments we have what we call short term and that's where I'm making a, an investment daily with your money of money that we have to invest and then we have our long-term investments the last three treasures the best we can tell averaged and you want to listen to these numbers because and we actually have some graphs that uh, will show uh, the documented changes that we've made. Uh, in our short-term investments, the last three treasurers averaged a year, averaging about $36,000 a year in interest. As of the end of July, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to report on our short-term investments, we've already done $2.8 million. <laughs> Now, that's a little hard to, 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 to digest because the last treasures were averaging 36,000. We've done 2.8 million. And it's not because we're rocket science, scientists. It's because we have gotten off our butts and we have invested your dollars. I have a very narrow window. It's not like I can wildcat and just go out and play the stock market. But we have proven that uh, we can bring the goods and we're probably going to do ladies and gentlemen over four million dollars in just our short-term investment and ladies and gentlemen that's money we've been leaving on the we, we've just been leaving it on the table and uh, so I'm very very proud of that accomplishment one of the other things ladies and gentlemen that we subscribed to in my campaign was that uh, we would absolutely positively receive no type of gifts former treasurer uh, who was indicted uh, and I think again as Jim alluded to you know the story if you don't uh, she'll be sentenced to federal penitentiary in September for political corruption 
And so I instituted a no gifts policy starting at the top. Myself nor any of our staff will take any type of gifts from uh, anyone that does business with the Treasurer of State. The other thing that we implemented and uh, bankers will have appreciation of this. Uh, the, those around the state, uh, around the country that are interested in the state's money as far as an investment, we created and just about ready to launch our blind bidding process. What does that mean? Well, in the past, there were only a select few of people that were getting the state's money because the treasurer could direct uh, specifically uh, who those monies went to. I had many bankers, many investment people tell me that our blind bidding process is going to give them now a fair opportunity to get the state's dollars for, for their investment purposes. And we will not know who the successful bidder is. You will have to be qualified. You will pre-qualify to bid. But for example, if Bill's the high bidder, we won't know that till all the cards are laid out on the table and we know exactly uh, who the, who the uh, high bidder is. So that's going to create a situation of fairness and get the very, very best for you uh, and, and your money. Something a lot of people don't know about the, uh, the treasurer's office, we're the most toured office in the capital. Uh, and there's probably some obvious reasons. We're the only state in the union where you can actually come into our vault and get your picture made holding uh, sometimes about a half a million dollars. Uh, again, I realize that's small money to build, but that's okay. <laughs> we are mandated by, your by our Constitution to maintain at least $250,000 at all times. That's from back from the 1800s uh, where we had to ensure that we had money to cover the state's outstanding warrants. We do approximately $70 million a day through your treasurer's office. A little impossible for me to keep $70 million uh, on hand, but we do honor and obey the law with respect to the Constitution. We have many tour groups, and I encourage you, if you're ever up at the state capitol, please come in and say hi to us. I'd be honored to uh, show you around, get your picture made with uh, uh, with that money, uh, and we are uh, we are considered to be also the state's banker. Uh, we actually uh, we actually cash and checks uh, at the office for the uh, maybe it's for the capital employees, isn't it, Jim? For any state employee with a state ID. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we we have tellers, and then we have tour guides that, that will help in the event that uh, for some time, or if y'all ever as a group wanted to come up there. Again, we would be uh, be happy to, to have you. Uh, that's just kind of a little bit of a short uh, synopsis. Uh, we uh, have been traveling around the state, uh, talking to folks, telling them what we're doing there, and uh, I would uh, hope and pray that we'll continue to be able to produce even uh, more uh, qualified results for the state of Arkansas. It's an honor and a pleasure. I'm born and raised here, and uh, I, uh, I never envisioned that I would have the opportunity to, to serve at the state capitol, and uh, it's, uh, it's just a wonderful pleasure. With that, to, to kind of move forward, uh, maybe like to open up uh, the floor for any questions that you might have, and uh, uh, we'll see if we can get them answered for you. Yes, sir? Time constraints or what the arrangements for tours? Uh, all you need to do is call our office and I'll leave that information uh, with Linda. Okay. And uh, we, we can work you in very, very quickly. Uh, no, absolutely no problem whatsoever. We've had people from, let's see, China, France, the UK, Australia, uh, gee, I'm trying to think of some other parts of the world that have actually come and visited, uh, visited our office there. So uh, I'd love to have you if you get as an individual or as a group, or, or whatever, if you're at the state capitol, please come and see me. Anybody else, any questions whatsoever, I'll be happy to, uh, to get them answered for you. My, you're such a rambunctious group, and then, the, yes sir? Well, you mentioned short-term investments, what about long-term investments? 
long-term investments or something. One of the things that I've, I've, I've done, ladies and gentlemen, is, is in my career, I started a, a small water treatment chemical company in 1985. I'm proud to say we're in 17 states now. My son-in-law, uh, and I'll answer that question, but my son-in-law pretty well runs the company now on day-to-day -day operations. But I've surrounded myself always with good people. Sam Walton, if you ever read the book Made in America, uh, readily admitted that he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed, which I would disagree with. I think he was a very smart man. But he always said, surround yourself with good people and hold them accountable. And, and I would say that that's what we've, that we've done. And I've hired an investment broker that worked for Stevens. Uh, he truly knows the business. I've given him the tools. And uh, that is, a, 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 and I want to give that him the credit, not not me. I want to take the credit for hiring him, but uh, I want to give him the credit for having that investment knowledge that has helped uh, us so uh, so much. Uh, he's actually being called on to come and speak around the country about some of the things we're doing in the treasurer's office. My goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to return this office from being, uh, from my peers around the country, from being a very uh, not well thought of office to be the best in the country and that is my intention I think we accomplished that as you're uh, in the Sling County side as the circuit clerk of Sling County and that's my intentions as your treasurer of state yes sir I'm just curious when you went from 36,000 to 2 point something million I found myself trying to figure out okay so you know without playing the stock market what were they investing in before and what are you investing in now what, type of security we're we're doing a lot of commercial paper and uh, without getting all into but again I think one of the biggest parts of our success is the fact that we are investing the money and uh, each day on average I have about 400 million dollars to invest so of your money so uh, if, if in the past it, I think it kind of goes back to what I just said about the three types of people. And I think that the past treasurers just either they were afraid or they just didn't want to you know, take any chances or, uh, you know, there's an old, maybe they're just plumb lazy. I don't know. But I just know that we're, that your investment is very safe. I have a board of finance that I have to answer to who's chaired by the governor. So again, we're not out there taking chances with your money and hoping for the best. It's a very detailed, a very, uh, what should I say, designed program to get us a good return on investment. And I'd like you to think that, uh, that we're doing something really special, but quite frankly, we're really not. We're just taking care of business. So it's not stocks? No, sir. Yes, sir. Are you, are you involved or do you interface with a lot of people? No, sir. Now, there are some treasures around the country that actually, uh, in uh, my peer in Massachusetts, I had to work on saying that, Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, she actually heads up the lottery. Uh, we have 33 employees in our treasurer's office. She has 489. Uh, North Dakota has eight employees. Uh, Tennessee has 280 employees, but we have 33 employees. And of course, as the treasurer of state, we handle all, I mean, we have six divisions of our office that do different things, but most people want to know about uh, the, the money. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Kind of went over the long-term investment part. Long-term investments, again, we are, uh, we are now coming out of some of the previous treasurer's investments for our Kansans, and we're taking a look at some different things that, uh, uh, and the market has changed. And, uh, but our, uh, our forecast is gonna be for a very good return uh, on your dollars that are invested in some different areas, uh, including some uh, uh, government-backed uh, uh, securities. Uh, again, uh, the market's changing. Of course, the last few days, the stock market's been very volatile, uh, as we know, and for probably the majority of y'all in here, it's been a little bit scary, but we're, in the long term, we have to be here for the long run because we're, we're looking out after Arkansas's future. 